Hello friends, welcome to Way to Java Learning. Today I will show how to write the code for Jagger tracing with using Spring Boot. So this is my Spring Boot application. Uh, here you can see this demo open tracing. The my module name. So I will show how I have made this Spring Boot application. So just what you have to do, you, you need to go here start.spring.io and here you need to provide the group artifact name description packet name that's all and now you have to provide this dependency so i have i have provided this, provided this string with so how you can provide that you have to add dependency and then you have to write the spring spring web spring web will click then you will get this and then you have to click the generate when you click generate then when you when you will create whenever when you will click the generate then you will get the zip file zip file so that zip file you need to extract and after extracting you can import how oh, you can import in here in the clip just, just import existing marvel project and next and then you can browse that location that's all so now you can see this after importing i you will get the spring boot application so what wow. here now uh, here you can see one hello controller java class is there which i added and in demo open tracing application dot java this method is all by default and this and this jagger tracer method i have been added so for this method there are two dependency needed so those two dependency you need to add this io dot open tracing dot country one is form dot google dot jagger this two dependency this two dependency you need to add this two dependency you need to add in your form.xml so you can see this jagger tracer it is returning the tracer object and this is spring boot you can see this you can provide any name here and you can see here like it is returning this new config. Uh, it is returning this new configuration dot reporter configuration dot get JSON method. Now I will show you this hello controller the Java class. Here I have written one request mapping with hello, and this hello method is returning hello from Spring Boot. That's all. So this is my Spring Boot application now. I need to start this server but before starting this server I will show how we can get the Jagger and how we can start the Jagger so first you need to download the Jagger how you can download the Jagger so here you go this is the path you can see that Jagger component can be downloaded in two ways so two ways one is like executable world binary second is docker image so I I have preferred this executable binary because it will be easier for us because in Docker image you need to know you need to more you need to work on Docker application also uh, you need to know the Docker then you can use this Docker image so I have used this executable binary you can also use this executable binary. And according to your OS, you can click like my OS is Windows, so I click here, and then the zip file has been created. After creating the zip file, I will show this. It will show like this: Jagger Windows Windows AMD 64.3R file. So the Jagger is a framework. It is a framework. Jagger is a framework. The form it is the framework and now 
we need to start the Jagger server. How can how we can start? But just I'm going clicking there, clicking here. Now I click this Jagger all in one dot .txt file. Jagger has been started now. Now the Jagger has been started. Now we need to start our application. I I have started this application. Spring Boot application. So this application is also coming up. So first I will show I will open this new of Pico window. So I will call this local host. No, nothing is there. So what I what I need to do? I need to call this hello. So this now it is returning this hello from string group. So now here we are seeing that we have done one request with hello and we are getting the response with hello from Spring Boot. Okay. Now we need to call the Jagger tracer. So by default, Jagger tracer port is one six six eight six. So you will see this UI. And now I will show you. This is the Spring Boot. And now you uh, you have to click this point tracers. So you can see you can see the response. So uh, here it is showing two. It is showing two because I have done request previously. So it is showing it is showing previous one uh, request response result. So you don't bother about this two. Uh, it is second request. I will. Here you can see this is my previous one. So uh, this one, this one I have been requested. I will show you again. I will do request. I will do again request. Yeah, I have done again request. Now it will again refresh it. It should show three. How you show? It will show point tracer. It is showing three. Okay. So how much time it has? So the, this 2.16 is showing the timing. 2.16 is showing the timing. So last last request has taken 2.16 to return the response. Before that, it has taken 10.3.2, 10.32, and before that also 23.22 milliseconds. So here you can click and then you can see the detail also so these are details like this is the url this is the method get method so this is our jagger tracer this is our jagger tracer that's all if you have any doubt then please comment comment me i will definitely respond your comment thank you all